Not everybody uses an agent. Some people prefer to approach publishers on their own. But I've always found my agent really useful. Um, I use her for negotiating, so she might try and get my advances up or my royalty levels up. I use her for strategy, so we might see each other and have a chat about where my career is going, whether I should be trying other genres of writing or approaching different publishers. And I use her just for kind of reassurance. If a publisher's asked me for something or an edit that I'm not sure about, um, I could speak to my agent and ask if this is normal and if it's okay and if I ought to do it. Uh, you should expect industry standard is around 15% commission for agents. A good place to start is the Writers and Artists Yearbook. There they list all the different agents and what kind of thing they're looking for. You can also check their websites and there are lots of Twitter hashtags that if you look out for, they're going on every week. Um, sometimes uh, they list, oh we're looking for pitch books or we're looking for middle grade and if you just join in, you put the little hashtag in on the at the right time and it will tell you a bit more about how to submit using that. Another useful thing to do is to go along to conferences. This year, the Yalk conference, which was set up by Mallory Blackman a couple of years ago, has a whole section with workshops and meeting agents and what it's like to work with an agent. Other writer conferences have this sort of thing too, like the Winchester Writers Conference, and these are really good ways to meet an agent face to face. In fact, my agency, which is Eve White Literary Agency, they often find authors during, using that method because they get a chance to chat to them and really talk about their books. Agencies can receive hundreds of submissions every week, so it's really important that you make their life as easy as possible, um, and then they're more likely to like you. And so they often list on their website how they want you to submit. Some have a form for you to fill in, some ask for a covering, covering letter, synopsis and three sample chapters. And you can be at a bit of a disadvantage if you don't follow their guidelines because if there's bits on the form that they're going to cut and paste and put into their system, you'll have missed out that section. It can take up to about six or eight weeks to hear back from a busy agency. If they really like your work, they're likely to answer fairly quickly and might phone you or email you within a week or two, depending on, on the time of year. And there's a variety of, of things they could say. They could either say no. They could say, we like your voice, but we don't like this book. And they might send you away to try and write something else. They could also say, we almost like this book, but it needs a few changes. And it's a really good idea to listen to the agent at that stage because they know the commercial market well. They know how to place your book in the context of other books and they know which publishers they've got in mind. So if an agency suggests changes, it's a really good idea to take that on board, make the changes. If you, you know, within reason, if you hate what they're asking you to do, that's different. But it's always worth trying because they're probably right.